Super quick video here. The battery's about to die on this. I uh, got a Samsung LTA320 APO5 panel. Backlight is working, but no picture. Now these are a bit of a bastard because they don't have a teak on. <coughs> so um, I scoped the LVDS signal output from the motherboard here, TMSD board, because some of these TMSDs, if the firmware corrupts. Uh, they can cause backlight but no picture on the LCD. However, the board is working, so the panel is the problem. Um, and this has a T-Con built straight into the panel, rather than a separate processor, or a separate board, sorry. Uh, it's all done by this main IC here. Now, <coughs> on these Samsung panels with the one tab on driver, couple of common issues. Ceramic caps on the boards seem to short out, causing no picture. Um, and it normally it never normally blows the fuse ever. The fuse is fine on this by the way. Uh, it's normally can be these caps here on the VES uh, panels, the VES WNDS panels. Um, and this I see here, this SAM I see, or SM4108 I see. Uh, I've seen that fail. Um, I've seen the one that isn't soldered like this fail though. Um, it's a different package. Um, this one found that there's a short on Q3 and CD25. These two devices here. So I'm going to use hot air, desolder the transistor, then desolder the cap probably is the cap that's shorted. Now on these panels take note that the outer cap here and the outer cap here will show up as shorted uh, either way. Now panel there t taken to pieces because um, <coughs> that panel is from that TV well, I substituted it with an LG panel, you're probably wondering how. Um, I had a board that would fit in this TV that is to drive an LG panel which is what I've used so I took the Samsung panel out of that and put an LG one on it and this is the smashed one that's over there so I ripped off this tab board off of it and I'm going to use the parts off this to fix this one hopefully get this TV working so I'm just going to use hot air take that transistor and that cap off see if the short across them goes away so quick project Normally don't tend to mess around with LCD panels like this. Uh, I have done a couple though. Um, it's just a pain. Just for your information as well, and for the smart arse of bag caps net, who I don't get on with, um, I have done further diagnosis on this before I started videoing it, of course. Uh, some twat of on bag caps net, which is a forum I use. Um, said how poor my method of diagnosis was and instead of checking voltages I just go straight looking for short circuits and I never bother checking any voltages um, <coughs> and I told him yes I do <coughs> start checking voltages and uh, I do read schematics I do read believe it or not with this I have no VGH and I have no 3.3 .3 volts generated by this IC here, which means something that drives it is not working. I haven't tested each pin of this IC, I've just literally checked over here. And then I looked for short circuits, so... Yeah, just about to start soldering on this. I'm going to use hot air. Ta-da! So yeah, smart ass bag caps net, who surprisingly struggles to fix TVs. Uh, I do check voltages and I do read schematics, so... Anyway, that's enough bitching. I'm gonna steal the parts off this board, change them over to this. Well, I'll remove these first and see if I can find any shorts. So, yeah. Right, so we've got the transistor and that cap removed, and the cap is fine. The transistor is shorted though. The part number of it is Q28, it says on the top. I'm not sure what that is because I'm not having to order it, I'm just stealing it off this board. Um, so if you get one of these, you can look it up for yourself, because I'm not doing everything. But yeah, it's just Q28, it says on the top, and that is the shorted part. The cap test's okay, actually. 
um, and the short has gone on the board. So I'm going to put the cap back in, take the transistor off that and see what happens see if it fixes the set hopefully it does but yeah the transistor says Q28 on the top that's all it says so yeah I'm gonna do that now but the short has gone away so that's good should hopefully fix the TV so we've got those two little things changed soldering is a little shit but problem nah be alright so we are going to give this set a try. Let's take it back in the other room. See if it works, or see if it blows up, because it could actually go bang, because something else down the line could have drawn too much current, shorted these out, and then it's still waiting to blow something up. Might work, might not. If it doesn't work, I'm chucking it out, because I'm ill, and... I'm going out in a bit and I can't be asked with sets like this. It's not a customer set, it's mine, so we shall see. Right, so we're going to do a power up test. There's no longer a short on there, so let's see what happens. There we go. By the way, I repaired this in 2016, it's currently 2017, replaced the power supply, the original failed, and now the panel failed. For those wondering why, my initials will be on there, and it is 2017. Uh, oh. oh, there we go. <laughs> fixed. I fixed another one of these shitty T-cons. So yeah, <laughs> that was all it was. Better turn that off because that tab on driver isn't actually heat sunk at the minute. LTA 320 AP05 fixed. Thanks for watching.